Yo, what's good? Welcome back to 33 Local High School Sports, Cumberland and Hope County, North Carolina. As always, I'm your boy, T. Holmes. Hey, it's getting ready to happen again tomorrow night, August 30th, week two of the North Carolina high school football season around the area. Let's run down some games that's going to be happening. Terry Sanford, 1-0. We'll be traveling down to Scotland High School, Longburg, North Carolina. Scotland is 0-1. 71st, 1-0. We'll be at Pine Fars, who is 0-1. Douglas Bird, starting the season off 1-0 in a long, long time. We'll be at 1800 Seabrook Road, I believe, taking on the E.E. E. Smith Golden Bulls, who is 0-1. Jack Britt, 1-0, will be at East Forsyth High School. East Forsyth is 1-0. Red Springs, 0-1, will be traveling to Grays Creek, who is 1-0. Overhills, 1-0 at Pinecrest, 1-0. Westover High School, 1-0 at Smithfield Salmon. I believe Smithfield Salmon is 1-0. Uh, yeah, and a Friday night game of the week for the 33 local high school sports will be the Hope County Bucks out of the 3A4A Sand Hills Conference, coached by Coach Smalls, will be traveling to Southview High School, home of the Tigers. Southview is in the 3A4A United 8 Conference. Head coach, Coach Bruinton. Now, for this matchup right here, Hope County is coming off a tough loss to Jack Britt, 27-22 uh, loss to the Pirates. Uh, the players for Hope County to watch Friday night will be on the offensive end of the board. Senior QB, B. Saunders, wide, junior wide receiver, M. Biggers, and on defense, senior outside linebacker, Elf Ranson, uh, senior defensive end Jay Willis, and senior DB D. Frazier. And over there for the players to watch for the Southview Tigers will be senior running back R. Dockery. And on the defensive end, uh, junior Mr. Carmichael, who is a cornerback, and junior linebacker T. Davis. Southview is coming off a 20 to 13 loss to Overhills to start day season off. So that should be a good one. Quick rundown. Uh, for Terry Sanford to get that win at Scotland, they're going to have to clean up on the turnovers. And they're definitely, definitely, their DBs is going to have to tackle. That weak, that weak side DB is going to have to tackle. And also, I don't know too much about Scotland's passing attack, but I really believe. They should shadow their top receiver. Terry Sanford should shadow that top receiver with the class of 26 lockdown corner, who is all conference, uh, Mr. Christian Carter. And I'm sure uh, class of 26, strong safety hybrid. I like to I like to call him a hybrid because he's all over the field. Class of 26 was also all conference last year, Mr. Gavin Kraut. And hey. Let's see if Jacob Kamor can uh, make some more magic again. Now, that Douglas Bird and E.E. E. Smith should be a real good matchup. I really think E.E. E. Smith can get their first win of the season. Uh, hey, like I say, they got to get their athletes involved, man. Get uh, Mr. Adam Hembrick involved on that offensive end of the ball, man. Use his athleticism. Uh, hey. They're pretty solid on defense, so that should be that should be a good game. Now the word on the street is uh DeAndre Nats, class of twenty five, quarterback over there at seventy first. I believe he has a high ankle sprain, so I don't know if he'll be playing tomorrow or not. But you know, that's just, you know, what thirty three local high school sports heard. So, hey, I will try to find that, get some more information uh, by tomorrow night, game time. Let me give shots out to my sponsors, GNI Painting, 
Dale's Floors, Barbecue Hut, Hook 'em Up Towing. Hey, let me get on up out of here. Hey, let's get on out here tomorrow night and support your uh, your local schools and you know your favorite players. You know, let's let's show these show these kids some love. Hey, as always, be good, be blessed. Don't go changing to please me. You're beautiful the way you are. T. Holmes, out.